Rising COVID-19 cases and rising concern were the big political stories this week in Saskatchewan. Premier Scott Moe had strong words for Hutterite communities and hockey teams. And teachers, students and parents are still waiting on the details on the province's back-to-school plan. To break this all down, we're joined by our provincial affairs reporter Adam Hunter. Adam, the Premier was pretty direct this week. How different was his message from what we've heard before? Yeah, Sam, it was very different, quite honestly. Uh, there's been a few weeks of, of rising case numbers, uh, really dramatic in the last couple of weeks, and we hadn't heard from Scott Moe uh, in this sort of tone in quite some time, really since the start of the pandemic. Now, he's been saying things like, this is going to be with us, this is a marathon, not a sprint, we got to get used to our new normal, uh, but he hasn't gone as far as he did this week, where he... Uh, called out, uh, you know, Hutterite colonies directly saying if you're not following the public health orders you need to, or the, the health of the province defend, depends on it. He also used the same sort of language for the uh, hockey teams, the parents and coaches that uh, went to Winnipeg with their kids to play in that tournament, uh, saying, you know, you, you risk uh, the health plan of the province when you do something like this. And and this is something that's that's been quite different from the Premier. Uh, he's been, you know, really talking in positive ways about Saskatchewan's COVID-19 response, saying, you know, we've done a great job. We've been able to reopen the economy. Uh, mostly everything is reopened now in one way or another. Uh, but this was uh, the first sort of warning we've heard. We still don't have anything about, you know, measures or restrictions that we put in place for the general public, no mandatory mask yet. But uh, definitely Scott Moe uh, putting his foot down a little bit more this week than we have heard. And in the same tone, really, from Dr. Saqib Shahab as well. Now, we are flipping the calendar to August, which means school starts in a month, and we're still waiting to find out exactly what school is going to look like in the fall, but other provinces have rolled out some plans. What do those look like? Yeah, this week was really, uh, for most of the provinces in the, in the country, getting their school plans out there, and there's been tons of reaction. Uh, BC, Alberta, Ontario, and Manitoba, among the provinces that announced the details of their plans this week. And when you look at the plans and compare them, they're quite different, honestly. Uh, Alberta is saying they're going to go to a near normal uh, plan. That's something that we've heard from Saskatchewan as well, that exact terminology, near normal, uh, when Gord Wyant said that sure. kids would be going uh, back to school in classroom a couple of months ago. Now, we don't know what Saskatchewan is going to do, but we have heard Dr. Shahab say that uh, younger kids won't be wearing masks. That would be surprised if that was put in place. That was something that Ontario decided to do, Sam, when they announced their plan. Grades 4 to 12 will be wearing masks and teachers will be supplied with medical grade masks in that province. The other thing Ontario and Manitoba are doing that's different from, let's say, BC and Alberta is Ontario and Manitoba have said that they may have high school kids spend uh, part of their time in classroom and part of their time at home uh, splitting up because it may be difficult in big high schools to physically distance. That's something that Alberta, at least to this point, isn't doing. And we have had no signals from the Saskatchewan government that's something they're considering at this point. So uh, we're expecting, and the Premier said, that the education plan, the back-to-school plan, will be announced next week. I would anticipate it will be early in the week. But Saskatchewan is one of the only problems is perhaps the only province to be light on details as far as back to school uh, to this point. And I know teachers and students and parents are all eagerly anticipating to see what Saskatchewan's plan is going to entail. All eyes on that one. Thanks so much for this, Adam. You're welcome. CBC Political Affairs reporter Adam Hunter in Regina tonight.